In the last lecture, we saw how to find out if the given signal is energy signal, power signal or NENP signal and I explained it by the help of two different methods. Now in this lecture, we will solve the problem number 2 and the problem you can see on your screen. Signal is XT and it is equal to TUT. Again, I will explain it by the help of two different methods. In the method number 1, we will obtain the waveform of signal XT and by the help of waveform, we will try to find out the nature of the signal. So let's quickly obtain the waveform of the signal. I will quickly draw the X and Y axis. I will first draw signal T. Okay. And as you can see, the Y axis is also T and the X axis is also T. This means we have the same increment in the magnitude of the signal as the increment in the time. So you will find the waveform of the signal like this. Okay. Now here along with T we have UT. So when you multiply UT, this means from minus infinity to zero, you are going to get the signal value equal to zero. And from zero to infinity, you are going to get the signal value equal to T because ut is equal to 0 from minus infinity to 0 and it is equal to 1 from 0 to infinity and when you multiply 1 to anything you are going to get the same thing so let's try to modify this plot so this is how the plot of the signal will look this is origin and signal is xt so you can clearly see from the waveform this signal is the signal is infinite extension signal infinite extension signal now why the signal is infinite extension signal because the non-zero amplitude range is infinity the signal xt is having non-zero amplitude range equal to infinity therefore it is infinite extension signal now as the signal is infinite extension signal we have seen there are three possibilities the first one is the possibility of the signal being energy signal the second possibility is power signal and the third possibility is neither energy nor power signal now to differentiate between these three signals we need to focus on the amplitude and when the amplitude of the signal is decreasing in nature it is energy signal but here the amplitude of the signal is increasing in nature so it is not energy signal and when the amplitude is neither decreasing nor increasing it is power signal but here it is increasing in nature so the signal is not power signal and thus the signal is neither energy nor power signal because the amplitude of the signal is increasing in nature so by the help of the graph of the signal you can easily find out the nature of the signal and the answer is neither energy nor power signal now we will focus on the second method in the second method we will try to find out the average power the signal here is non-periodic non-periodic and when signal is non-periodic the average power p is equal to limit limit p tends to infinity 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 mod xt square dt this is the formula of average power for non-periodic signals now we will set the lower limit and the upper limit let's say this is minus t by 2 and this is t by 2 they have the same distance from the origin and now we will perform the integration if you see the signal you will find from minus t by 2 to 0 signal value is 0 and from 0 to t by 2 signal value is t now it's very easy to solve the integration limit t tends to infinity 1 by t inside the bracket integration from minus t by 2 to 0 signal value is 0 so we have 0 square dt plus from 0 to t by 2 signal value is t so mod t square is t square and then dt in the next step we will perform the integration limit t tends to infinity 1 by t this part will remain same the integration of this is equal to 0 so we have 0 plus integration of t square is equal to t cube by 3 t cube by 3 the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is t by 2 so 0 t by 2 
let's simplify this we have limit t tends to infinity 1 by t multiplied to t cube by 24 this t and t will cancel out so we have limit t tends to infinity t square over 24 now when you put t tends to infinity you will get the average power p equal to infinity and when average power p is equal to infinity the signal is neither energy signal nor power signal because in case of energy signals in case of energy signals the average power p is zero and in case of power signals the average power p is finite but in the above example we have average power p equal to infinity so the signal is neither energy nor power signal you can also calculate the total energy for this signal using the formula of the total energy the calculation of total energy is homework for you it is not important to calculate the total energy because we only needed to find out if the signal is energy signal power signal or any np signal and for that the power calculation is enough so by using the two different methods by using the graph of the signal and by using the formula of the average power we have obtained that the signal is neither energy nor power signal so this is all for this lecture don't forget to post your answer in the comment section calculate the total energy and post your answer in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one